What's up guys and welcome back to another video that I made a little while back about creating uh, 3D perspective plans in Revit. Um, it's a pretty simple and powerful technique um, and I hope you guys like it. If you do and you want to see more videos like this, please smash that subscribe button and if you've got any comments, questions or suggestions for future videos, uh, please leave those below. Otherwise, hope you enjoy it. So you want to come to the 3D view and then we want to right click on the 3D view duplicate and duplicate and we'll re rename this uh, 3D perspective plan like so next thing we want to turn on is the section box so if we look in our properties we can see the section box is ticked on but we can't actually see it in our project and that's because we need to reveal hidden elements and unhide it like so and then toggle this to close the reveal hidden elements mode next thing we want to do is uh, size our section box to crop basically in 3d so if you're not familiar with the section box basically you just need to select it and you've got these control points that you can adjust and cut your model in different ways I find the best way to do it is to use these uh, perpendicular views up here so I've clicked top now so it's probably the best for you to adjust all these Four control points. I might bring that into there. And now to control the the height, I'm better off using one of the side views. So if I click that, we can we get almost the perfect elevation that we can choose where we want to cut through our project. And I just want to come up to sort of high level on these walls here to cut through this space. And orbit back around. We can see that's kind of what we're after. We hit the top view now, and we can see that this we've got a uh, it's a top view but it's basically looking like a plan so we need to change the projection mode over here in the properties to from orthographic to perspective and hit apply and we can see that change there now if we zoom in we can already see that our uh, our 3d perspective is starting to take shape and just a few things that I like to adjust first I'll right click the section box over our graphics in view sorry hide in view elements and come down to our graphic display options in here and set a few things so firstly I like to turn shadows on cast shadows and ambient shadows and I'll come into lighting and set our shadows to about 15 and hit apply like so and we can change if you're not if you don't want the colors you want the black and white look you can just click on the style here and go hidden line and hit apply and hit OK. The last thing I like to do in here is to give our walls a solid black fill just so it pops and stands out a little more. So all we need to do is select one wall, any wall, right click, override graphics in view by category and then we want to come down to cut patterns and set the pattern to a solid fill and the color make sure that's set to black or you can play around with other colors in there hit apply okay and there you have it uh, pretty much a 3d perspective plan of your project in a couple minutes hope that was helpful if it was please like and subscribe and i'll be making more of these videos in the future and thanks again have a great day